everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome back to our coverage of the World Series of Poker. I am with newly crowned 888 Ambassador Chris Mormon. Now first off, since you're the newest sort of ambassador to be announced, I wanted to talk a little bit just about this partnership and, you know, being someone with more than 13 million in online winnings, total crusher, I'm sure you've been very coveted. So tell me a little bit about why 888 and, and what this partnership is for you. Um, yeah, 88 I think is like doing a lot of big things. Like obviously, it sponsored the 300k at Aria, sponsoring like the World Series here. I think it's like committed to like developing poker, and I think that's something that poker needs right now. Just because, like lately, there's been a lot of negative press with poker, so I'm glad to like hopefully be involved in some positive stuff. Amen. Let's just keep them coming. Keep the press coming. Well, you know, I know that you just recently were involved in a match uh, with Scott Ball in the GPL, part of the London Royals, who you guys are crushing overall anyways, but it was one of the first matches in the Cube, so I wanted to just hear a little bit about that experience. You know, the Cube was sort of elusive to all of us for a while, so what was it like? Um, yeah, it was kind of weird. Like, um, it was actually really hot in there, and I kind of... I was like in a tight t-shirt as well and I was just like kind of sweating buckets and he kept putting me in tough spots so yeah it wasn't a good combination but apart from that it was really fun like uh, we were talking a lot of shit to each other and uh, yeah I'd definitely be up for going, doing it again. Easy. Well I know this weekend it was your wife's birthday so the whole poker community was very excited for a chance to you know let their hair down and have a little fun so can I assume that, that you got you got a little fun in this weekend and now you're ready, ready to grind? Yeah pretty much. I think on the Sunday afterwards I uh, Ended up late registering the 1K on dinner break just because I was feeling so bad before that and I was trying to spin my 10 big blinds into like the bracelet but I didn't even last 10 minutes. And then yesterday I took off as well so now I'm, now I'm back and uh, back for good hopefully. That's the thing, you know, we, we're all grown up now, we've got those two day hangovers. Yeah, I mean mine was probably a three day one. But. <laughs> I'm with you, but that means it was a good party. So Katie Lindsay, shout out to you. Uh, 70s disco theme is always fun. I'm going to give you a little time. He was deep in a hand on the break, so we got to give him some time on a break. But we'll catch up with him more and more every week of the summer. 888 Poker Ambassador Chris Mormon. I'm Sarah Herring. You guys are with us here on PokerNews.com.